What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Main Deck Monday, and today we are looking at a Giratina Aromatease deck. Now, uh, this deck is probably one of the strongest, if not the strongest, decks in format right now. And actually, I want to give a big shout out to Gary Robbins. Um, there was actually a tournament called the Meta Deck Tournament, or the yeah, the Meta Deck Open, and I was in Florida, and he actually won. With Giratina Aromatease. Now, this is actually the list I played at a lead challenge the other day. Um, there's a lead a standard lead challenge. I went 3 0, won the whole thing. Um, but, I mean, this deck is just really strong. Round one, I played against a Mega Rayquaza deck. Uh, it was actually my girlfriend, Tracy. Um, but the deck did play Hex Maniacs and stuff like that. Uh, but even with the Hex Maniacs, when you start using Giratina to use the Chaos Will, they can't put down any Sky Fields, they can't take one shots on you, and you play the AZs and the Verse Seekers to pick them back up. It was definitely a close game. She did take the, like, she did get, like, the turn one, like, uh, like I think she had, like, five or six Pokemon down to knock out a basic Xerneas. But then, uh, like, uh, I went first, Giratina, Double Dragon, passed, uh, with the Xerneas and Axe about their turn. Um, she got the, the Rayquaza out, knocked out my active Xerneas. I said the Giratina, Double Dragon, Fairy Garden, and start hitting her, and uh, we eventually win there. Uh, round two, I donked a Beldum with the Aromatis with just 60 damage. Uh, we're basically just like draw pass, draw pass, draw pass. I'm like, cool, I have three energies in play. We both had energies. She was playing the Metagross stack, uh, the Machine Gun one. Uh, but we played another game, and I still won because Giratina just shuts down where you can't play any special energy cards, so that was pretty easy. Uh, round three. I played basically an all dragon deck. It was like Latias, um, Giratina, Hydrogen, uh, just like an all dragon deck, I guess. Um, I, the Latias was for the quick knockouts. I was actually scared because she won round two by uh, donking a, a Beldum. I met a, there was two Metagross players in the League Challenge, and uh, she donked a Metagross. But my turn I opened double Giratina. She actually played like three or four Enhanced Hammers. Um, so she used the double the enhanced term early games to get off my double dragon energies off my Giratina while I was like had like three in my hands, so I had to like manually just put them on there. Uh, but eventually we got the Xerneas out, hit for weakness on the dragons there, and uh, took a game there. And so there we go. There's I mean it's just three rounds. I know it's not very exciting there, um, but we did beat a Rayquaza. We did beat a we donked a machine gun bullet Metagross deck, but even we played the fun game afterwards. I still did beat it, and then. Round three was a, a dragon deck here. But let's go over the deck just real quick if you don't know what it does here. Uh, the Xerneas has Geomancy. You attach two fair energies to two of your bench Pokemon. And Rainbow Spirit does 100 damage. Discard energy attached to this Pokemon. Uh, so what you do with Xerneas is you usually use Geomancy. Put one like a Giratina and one on the uh, maybe a, sh what is this, a, sw a Spritzy? I wouldn't say Swirlix. Uh, but it's spreadsy because it, that's what it does. So you choose two Pokemon and attach two fair energies to it. And the Rainbow Spear is actually the knockout dragon Pokemon like Giratina. Now, Giratina is probably the strongest card in standard right now. I, I would put money down and say that. Um, because Giratina, it's, its ability here is pretty broke. Prevent all effects of uh, all effects of attacks, including damage, done to this Pokemon by your opponent's Mega Evolution Pokemon. So that means Megas can't do anything to you, which is great here. And also you have Chaos Will. It does 100 damage. Your opponent can't play any Pokemon tools, special energy, or stadium cards from his or her hand during his or her turn, which is great. Um, I mean, like, Vespa Queen, which is one of the biggest decks right now, play, like, you know, double, uh, double colors energies. They do play, like, Blacksmith and Fire Energies, but that's usually not enough to knock you out, which is great here. And this is why I think Giratina is so strong. I mean, you have Mega Manetric, you have Mega Rayquaza, and like I said, they can play Hex Maniacs, but they're not going to take one-shots once you get the Fairy Garden out. Um, so they have to two-shot you while you're two-shotting them as well, and um, it's pretty good there. And then once you knock out Eraclaza, they actually can't put down any more double colors energies. So they have to like manly power up one and use like multiple mega turbos. And Tracy, she did have two mega turbos prize, so that kind of did hurt her as well. Uh, we play two Shaman as well to help set up here. Now we also play an Aromatease here, which lets you move fairy energies around any way you want to. Now the thing with double dragon energies is you got to remember they count as any types here. Uh, provides only two energies at a time, but only when they're attached to Dragon Pokemon. So even though 
they are attached to Giratina, you can still move them around um, to another Giratina. So you can have like a Giratina active and a Giratina to the bench. And you can move that double dragon energy from the active to the bench Giratina. Uh, some people didn't understand that concept. But it's, I mean, it's still a fairy, folk, fairy card. You just can't move it to the Roma days. You might be able to, and it might just automatically get discarded. Let me check here. Yeah, this card is attached to anything other than a Dragon Pokemon. Discard this card. Um, I think I think you can move it onto a, a, a gear like another Pokemon that gets discarded. I don't know. I mean, maybe I have to look it up just in case you play against like a Leafeon or whatever with like an Energy uh, Crush deck. I mean, maybe that's something to look into. I'm not sure. But that's all the Pokemon here. Um, now you will struggle against an All Fairy deck, but I don't think All Fairy Pokemon are like that dominant right now they could be in this Giratina that keeps getting more hype uh some people might say Machamp EX is a hard matchup but a lot of the Machamp decks play like strong energies and they can't attach those anymore they can't attach the muscle bands so they really can't one shot you anymore uh, so you don't have to worry about that deck either so the only bad matchup I think is the fairy, like a straight fairy deck like Florges and Gardevoir would definitely probably beat you. Uh, two level ball here. Uh, search for Pokemon with 90 HP or less. Dispersi and Romatis have two uh, 90 HP Pokemon. Uh, the Trainer's Mail here. Look at the top four cards of your deck. Reveal a Trainer card in there. Uh, put it in your hand, uh, which is great. Um, there you go. So Trainer's Mail there. You can search out any Pokemon or any Trainer cards there. I like the four of. Um, I know that Greg only played three, or Gary played only three. I did change a couple cards around. Not much. Uh, four Ultra Ball, search out your Pokemon. Four VS Seeker to use, reuse your supporter cards. Um, now the only card I'm kind of questioning is this Ace Trainer here. You can only play this when you have more prize cards left in your opponent. So if I have six and my opponent has four, you can play the Ace Trainer. You put them down to, they. everybody, everybody shuffles a hand or deck. I draw six and they draw three. This is cool early game if they do knock out a Spritzy or an Aromatease uh, pretty early. You can Ace Trainer them. But the only problem is, is is if it's the only supporter card in your hand, you're pretty much like waiting for something to get knocked out. And that was a problem I had during the tournament. So maybe Ace Trainer not so good here. I might cut it for a fourth Birch or something else. I'm not sure right now. Uh, two AZ. Now this is a cool combo here with the Giratina. Put one of your Pokemon into your hand. Discard all cards attached to it. But you can move around the energies from Giratina, then AZ it up, set up a fresh new Giratina, and knock somebody out there. So that way you remove all the damage counters off somebody. So even though we got rid of Max Potion, we still have AZ in the game to heal off your Pokemon. Uh, two Life Standard, three Birch, four Sycamore, pretty standard here. Four Fairy Garden, if each Pokemon that has Fairy Energies to it has a zero retreat cost, which is great. Uh, because you can just move around the fairy energies to any of your Pokemon. Ex uh, uh, the Shaman, you can move the fairy energies up to Shaman and then retreat it. Three Muscle Band, and this just to help you do like 120. If you're planning to get to Mega, you get two shot at And four Double Dragons and eight fairy energies. And that's the deck there. It's a very, very good deck here. So once again, congratulations to Gary. This was about like a month ago. Yes, yeah, September 20th is when this was posted. And uh, I think, like I said, I think this is the strongest deck in the format here. It did beat a Toad, a, a Side Toad Giratina in the top, uh, in the finals. And it did beat a Mian Xiao deck in top four. So if you want to see everything about those decks, I'll have a link down below. We have included the Mian Xiao deck before. Um, this is not Gary's list. I, I, yeah, it's not Gary's list. It's a little bit different. Um... I can't remember really what it is. I think I cut like the Lugia for a Xerneas and the Hydrogen for a uh, fourth trade as well. So there you go. Um, you might be worried about Regice as well, but a Xerneas with a Muscle Band can one shot as well. I'm trying to think of anything else to say about this deck. I think that pretty much covers it all and all the weaknesses it has here. But hopefully you enjoy this video or hope you enjoy this deck and let's see this deck in action here. Alrighty, so we're playing against the Goose Man. Uh, playing a Grass Fighting deck. This probably shows it's Machamp EX. Uh, so our turn here. Alright, we start. Uh, Giratina should be fine here. We got Spritzy. We got Ultra Ball. Discard the Ace Trainer and a Fairy Energy to get a Shaman. And let's see what, we, what my opponent is starting here. So Double Locario. Okay. Uh, that's not what I thought it was going to be. So Ultra Ball. I think I'm still going to discard the Ace Trainer and the Fairy Energy to conserve the Muscle Band and the Spritzy. Arrow grab a Shaman, of course. So put down the Spritzy, put a Double Dragon Energy, Muscle Bandit, 
And Shaman here drawn up to six. Uh, put down another Spritzy. And here I'm just going to Birch. And let's see what we get here. Heads, there we go. All right, we'll put down a Xerneas. And uh, we'll just end our turn here. We really don't need anything else. Next turn, we can put down the Aromatis. Uh, Ultra Ball for maybe another Shaman. There's a Strong Energy going down to Lucario. There's a Scorched Earth, a Lava Ball. I might actually get another Giratina, so that way we can swap out the uh, the Giratinas. Here we see Professor Birch, Tails, only getting four. Uh, they receive the discarding the, fi the Fighting Energy. There's a Muscle Band. So this will do uh, three, four, five, six, seven, seventy to the Giratina here. So not a knockout, uh, but if we we can Ultra Ball for another Giratina and hopefully get we have the aromatis in hand already all we need is another double dragon energy and a fairy garden there's a lysander okay we get the aromatis here ultra ball discard this and this uh we'll just grab a giratina here put that down and uh yeah we just need to draw into a fairy garden and another double dragon energy don't let me down well, okay we got the fairy garden uh but there's no way we can get a uh <clears throat> What is it? A uh, a double dragon. So we're treating to the Xerneas. Fairy energy here. Uh, and we'll conserve the trainers mode. We really don't need those. We can't really search for anything. So here we'll Geomancy. Put one on the G Giratina and the one on the Shaman here. They both get two. There's one and there's another. But hopefully with that bad Birch, my opponent doesn't really have anything. How much does... Okay, there's another score chart there. How much does Summer Sauce Kick do? 100. Okay. Alright, so 120, 140... Okay, so Summer Saw Kick might be able to knock us out here. 100, 120, 140, 160. It needs all three strong energies. They receive a Sycamore from my opponent there, discarding a Lysander, Verse Seeker, Escape Rope, Sycamore. There's a Machamp EX coming down. An Aria Dust comes down as well, so it can start using Poisonous Nest. Uh, they receive 100 damage onto the Xerneas here, and he draws up to six cards. Alrighty, so here we'll train his Mel. We are looking for a Fairy Garden that's not a Fairy Garden. Uh, use it one more time. Looking for a fairy garden. Verse seeker. Okay. Uh, we'll just keep the first seeker in the deck. Put down the muscle band here. A fairy energy here. Verse seeker for a birch. I was looking for a fairy garden, so we could treat it to this Giratina here. And then you AZ pick up this hurt Giratina. Hey, well, birch. Heads. All right. Give me. All right. All right. Okay. So here we'll just fairy transfer this fairy, fairy, energy, fairy energy up to here. <clears throat> Retreat the guillotine of this guy. Fairy transfer the double dragon here. And here we'll just use the Chaos Will for 120. And next turn we can knock it out. Hopefully he doesn't knock out our Giratina here. I don't think there's a way he can do that. 100, 120, 140. Yeah, the max he can do right now is 140. Poison us 150. So I'm not worried about that. Uh, but do we have an AZ in the discard pile? Oh, we don't. Alright, so that's a little bit scary for sure. But the good thing here is he has committed all the energies to Lucario. And he can't put down like a uh, anything to actually knock us out this turn. So there's 140. We have 20 left. If he could put down a fighting stadium, we would have got knocked out there. Uh, so here we'll just Verse Seeker looking for a Fairy Garden. Yeah, well Birch here, I think that's the best play here. So Birch here, give me Fairy Garden, that's fine. Alright, we're doing good in our flips. and Oh, we whiffed it. Oh, man. All right, put down the Romatees. Uh, okay, because the Giratina gets knocked out coming back into our turn here. Hmm. What to do here? Because he needs three energy to treat here. Huh. Hey, that can't work. We can't Sky Return. Hmm, I guess, man, we're just gonna have to minute energy somewhere and just take the knockout while we can, I guess. And take out all of his energies in play. I guess that's the best play here. One, two, yeah, there's not, we don't have enough energies. One, two, three, four, five. It needs three to retreat. Oh, uh, we just whiffed the fairy guard. So, yeah, whatever. We'll chaos well for the knockout here. The guarantee to look. And there's the AZ. Uh, but we do have another double dragon energy for the following turn. Uh, here we see the Lucario come to Axe Spot here. Uh, probably has. I mean, regardless. Oh, there's an Ace Trainer as well. All right. But we. Okay, that's good. We still have a good hand here. We can uh, attach a fairy energy. Put, put a fairy energy down. And we can use the Geomancy. 
Search out more stuff here. We're going to see a corkscrew or a missile draft for 30. Not going to have the Giratina here. My opponent will take two prizes. So two to two. We'll set up the hurt Xerneas. All right, so there's a verse seeker. So here we'll love a ball just to thin it out of her deck. Uh, put a fairy energy into aromatease. Yep. And here we'll verse seeker for a birch. And we will play it. Tails only get four cards there. Um, let's think about this. We'll put down another, uh, once again, we don't have a Fairy Garden. Alright, we're still going for the Fairy Garden. So here we'll Geomancy, put one on the Aromatees and one on the Xerneas. And the reason why I put down the other Xerneas, oh, there's only one left! Oh no, I sh uh, it's weird, because Pokemon doesn't let me uh, decide where, where it goes. But I wanted to, uh, put down another Xerneas, because he'll, he's going to knock out this Xerneas. We'll have one more left to go. Uh, we play three, though. We have one, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, so all those are okay. So all those are gone. There's he a Birch. Only get four cards. There's fifty damage to our Xerneas here. We'll send up the Giratina and let's see what do we top deck. All right, so put a double dragon here and we'll Sycamore looking for some good cards. All right, nice. So there's the Fairy Garden. There's the Giratina. Retreat to this Giratina. Fairy transfer this up to here. This up to here, and the double dragon up to this guy. Alrighty, hero press done. And we have Chaos Will for 100 damage. There we go, that's what we needed there. Now this Machamp is still scary though. Steaming Mad is a very scary card, and I'm not sure how we're gonna, uh, how we're gonna deal with it. But there we see a fighting as you go down to Machamp. And let's see, what else does he have here? Like, we might have to attack with. Oh man, does he have a, verse, a life center in there? Oh man, he does have a light center there. He okay, never mind. Giratina is not okay. I thought Giratina was lower HP. All right, so tails on the birch again. We flipped a lot of heads, and I think my opponent has flipped a lot of tails, which is great for us. Uh, they were both are poisoned here. They received 50 damage onto the Lucario. Alrighty, okay. So here we'll double dragon. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think here. Uh, to this Giratina retreat here, Aromatis, this fairy here, and this fairy here, and here we will just Chaos Will for the knockout, taking two prize cards, okay, I'm looking for, do we have another double dragon energy left, we do, okay, we, it's somewhere in here, uh, there we see Machamp, there's another Machamp come up. Now what I might do if he commits, oh uh, he's actually going to switch to this Machamp. Sick, oh that's interesting. Um, okay. Uh, okay, so they're both poisoned here. Maybe he whiff, maybe he doesn't have any fighting energies left. Oh, how many fighting energies has he played? One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, he's played one, two, three, four, five, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Regular fighting energies. How many of the other one does he play is the big question here. Uh, we will just retreat into this Giratina just trying to keep the poison off us. Fairy transfer this up to here This up to here And yeah, we'll just chaos will for a hundred and uh <clears throat> Next time next turn if he can't switch out his Machamp here. We can knock out this Machamp here. Here are both their poison. There's a Karina he can search out for a switch, but all this one, see, Matt only does 20 here. There we see a Landorus. And he just might be out of basic fighting energies. He has, what did I say? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. He has 6 in play. Uh, I mean, that's still pretty low. We have 4 strong energies, 10 total. Uh, yeah, it's not a lot at all, but you can still see, even without Lugia, which some people might say would be great in this deck, you can still beat the fighting decks pretty easily. Uh, the first deck is kind of scary, though. This team is mad. Is definitely the scarier of attacks. <clears throat> so I have to see what my opponent does here. Uh, he already, okay, yep, so we just, yep, we just Chaos Will for the knockout there. And there we go, beating the uh, the Fighting Dot deck with our Giratina Aromatease deck. You kind of saw the power of AZ and how you can switch between different Giratinas. Um, but we'll play another game with the Tina, with the Aromatina. Tina Tease, I'm not sure what you want to call it here. But yeah, we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second. All right, so you're putting his Des Daddy uh, playing. I'm not sure what he's what he's playing here. I have to find out. There's Grass Energies, a Golbat, a Verse Seeker, or something else here. But we start Xerneas. We get a Spritzy down. These this Daddy 
this this that day. I'm not sure what his name is here. Uh, we get a Mulligan card, and there is his Zubat. All right, now the Gobats and Crobats are pretty annoying. Uh, there is the a spinner coming down. What are we playing against here? Okay, man, what are we playing? Um, but like the Zubat and Crobats and Golbats are annoying. And there's a Hex Maniac as well. I'm not really concerned about that. Uh, put a Fairy Energy here. Fairy Garden Birch. Tails. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just Geomancy for one. Uh, seems great here. We do have the capability next turn of attacking with Giratina, though. If we get down to Giratina, a double dragon energy, and he doesn't hex us this turn, we should be okay. Uh, there we see a go back coming down. It could put 20 on the Spritzy here. Maybe a light center the Spritzy, attach a muscle band, energy, knock out the Spritzy. That could be a little cool combo, but let's see what Des. Uh, Daddy has here. There's an Ultra Ball discarding a Golbat and a Crobat here. Uh, there's a Sceptile. So it is a Sceptile. Jack, there's a Muscle Man going down onto it. And a Sycamore here discarding their hand. It draws seven cards here. Now, um, a Sin Call might be a little bit scary. There's here a Spinarak and a Zubat coming down. Trainer's Mail. Uh, this, this, uh, this. Let's see. If Hedge, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep and poisoned. Alright, so there's an AZ coming down as well. And here we see the Sceptile coming up here. And we're going to see the 30. Are we asleep? Nope. Alright, it's so our turn here. We'll put down the Romatizzi. Trainer's Mel looking for an Ultra Ball. That is not what we want here. But do we have a Lysander in the discard pile? We don't. Uh, so I'm going to grab a Lysander here. We're just going to Sycamore away so it's in the discard pile if need be. But man, that's a great hand there. Alright, get the Double Dragon down. Retreat to the Giratina. Aromatis, these fairy energies up to here. And we will Chaos Will for 100 damage. Now, can the second attack knock us out here? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13, 14, 15, 16. If he gets down a Corbat and a Golbat here and a Spinarak, they could actually knock us out here. That could be really scary. Oh man, this deck might be something to watch out for here. Uh, but let's see if D the Des has a Corbat or a uh, Crobat or a uh, Golbat. Uh, we did see them. Oh, there's a Crobat coming down. Do it 30, probably to our Giratina here. I mean, that's what I imagine. Um, can't really see it. Any, I mean, uh, yeah, I can't see it going anywhere else, really. Like, okay, there's 30 onto the Giratina. There's the Super Scoop up. Heads picking up that Crobat. All right. So the Crobat comes back into their hand. Uh, the Golbat comes back down 20 onto probably the Giratina here. Uh, there's a press of purchase option. Give him tails. All right. So only four cards here. No energy, please. Wait. I, do I have to be poisoned? Oh, we have to be affected by a special condition here. So my opponent will need an Aria Dose. Uh, there's a Shaman drawn up to six. Does he get an Aria Dose or not? It's a big question here. Please, no Aria Dose. Don't let me down, Pokemon. Super scoop up. Give him tails. You gave him heads the first time. Whew. All right. All right. We're good. All right. Doesn't seem like he has an Aria Dose yet, but anything... Could happen here in Pokemon Land. Alrighty, let's see what does Des have for us here. Oh, just 80 damage. All right, so we're good to go here. I uh, put down another Romatizzi. Put down a Double Dragon. Sycamore looking for another Giratina. That's not another Giratina. All right, so Trainer's Mail here. There's an Ultra Ball. Uh, so here, Ultra Ball discards the Xerneas and the Fairy Energy. That should be okay. Grabbing a Giratina. Putting that. Nope, not Shaman. Shaman stay in my hand right now. I uh, put down the Giratina, retreat here, Aromatis, these double dragon energies up to here. Uh, put a fair energy onto this Aromatis, and put a fair energy onto this Giratina, I mean this Xerneas. And here we'll just Chaos Will for 100, take it a knockout, take it two prize cards, alright. I know, I know, no Aria Dose, alright. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. We all, we all saw the miss, we all saw the, the Aria Dose though. I mean, if that if that Aria does comes down here, I am not sure how we would win this game here. But my opponent could still take, um, still has a shot though. <laughs> this is all for fun. All right, all right, all right. So my opponent knows what's up here. It's all, Pokemon is all a fun game. Uh, they, oh man, okay. All right, so we see a grassy dude going down to go back here. There's a Sycamore. If he gets a Crobat. You get a Crobat, put 30 damage onto the Giratina, and then put 
a skill dive to Garantina and knock it out. Um, yep, but, oh, man. All right, so we don't see it. I don't think he has the curve out here. Oh, no, there's an Ultra Ball. Grabbing curve out here. I'm going to put 30 damage onto the Giratina and then use it again to take a knockout on this Giratina here. All right, so my opponent will be tied up two to two. There's a go back coming down. Where did that 20 damage go? That's a big question here. All right, so 20 damage to the Giratina. And we're just going to see a skill dive onto this Giratina EX and take a knockout. There's another Shaman here. Now, if, my, if I was my opponent, I would probably not do that. Uh, because now I'm going to license with the Shaman. Ultra Ball for another Giratina. Um, knock out a Shaman. And the next turn, hopefully hit a Lysander to win the game. So here we'll Ultra Ball, discard the Aromatis and the AZ. Hero grab. Oh! I lied. There's not another. Um, all right. Xerneas is still fine here. Um, if we get a Muscle Bend on it, it could knock out a, uh, a Shaman here. So we'll license up the Shaman. Shaman drawn up to six. Alright, so there's a muscle man we need next turn. Uh, so fair energy here, fair energy here. Um, and yeah, we'll just cast well. Oh no! I forgot to put down the muscle band. Oh man. Oh man, I forgot to put a muscle band on the Giratina to knock out the shaman. <sighs> Alright, misplayed for days. There's a grass energy going out of shaman here. Ah, okay, so retreat, uh, okay, no, if, if, if Dez has a DCE, uh, he could just pick up the Shaman here, and then we'll have to Verse Seeker bring up a Shaman again, alright, 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 no misplay this time, there's an Aria Dust coming down, it could use the, uh, the Poisonous Nest, and, uh, Poisonous, there's a Verse Seeker, uh, it could grab an Ace Trainer here, that's probably their best bet here, is to grab the Ace Trainer. I misplayed so hard, we should have just put the must on the Tina. I don't know why I didn't. I just didn't think about it. Because uh, we still have three in the deck. I, I guess I'm scared of... Uh, well, not even, Okay, never mind. Professor Birch is not the Hex... Oh, we're all tied to prizes. Duh. Alright, Professor Birch here for four. I just can't believe I misplayed there. Okay. that we should, we should be okay, though. We should be okay. Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Let's think here. Alright, we're going to see Crobat do skill dive on somebody. Uh, the big question, probably to the Giratina here. I mean, why not? It's the real question. Like, why would you not do that? Oh, no, 30 to this Aromatizzi. Putting down to 20 HP left. Um, I'm just going to retreat. Hmm. No, we'll just put a, a fair energy here. Burst Seeker, 488 eight, Lysander. And this time, we will knock it out for sure. Now this will do, oh man, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll bring up, we'll bring up the damaged one. We'll put a bus band here, and we will use Chaos Wolf for the knockout. And the reason I'm doing this is because if my opponent plays a super scoop up and pick up that bench one, um, we could be in trouble if he does knock out this active Giratina. That's all I can really think. All right, how many Verse Seekers have we played? One, two. So we have two left in the deck. There we see his other own Verse Seeker. This will probably grab an Ace Trainer. There we go. I don't, I don't know why I keep misplaying. Oh, but, oh, man. He just ace trainer to the Versica that we need to win the game here. Oh, man. So maybe Septile, Crobat, Golbat is something to look at here for standard. There's another Aria Dust coming down here. Uh, there's Super Scoop Up. Tails. And let's see what else Dez Daddy has for us here. I uh, can't put down a stadium because we have the Giratine attack, and there's the Aromatis going down here. Oh, man. That was a closer game than I thought it was. There we got the Lysander, Lysander, the Shaman, Retreat into the Xerneas, and here we will just use the Rainbow Spear for the knockout there. Take a knockout on the Shaman there. And there we go. Oh, man. All right. So Giratina, uh, Aromatis, he's taking a knockout against the Probat Septile deck. That's definitely a deck to look at. That's a pretty good combo there uh, with the second attack. If, if he got that Arya Dose down, I don't know what would happen. We probably would have lost there for sure. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed Aromatina. It's it's a very interesting deck for sure. And I think it's probably one of the best decks in the format right now. Um, the Sceptile deck, I mean, even though we almost lost to it, it definitely struggles against the, uh, the Vespa Queen deck.
because Vesper Queen has the Hex, I mean, not Hex Maniac, the Flareon, but then the Tip Top player did play the Hex Maniac to shut down the Flareon. It's definitely a weird concept there for sure. Uh, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great Monday. Alrighty.